Welcome friends, welcome once again to a session on GDNT. In this session we are going to discuss regarding Datum feature symbol. So what is Datum and then what is Datum feature? Datum feature is nothing but physical portion of the actual part. If you manufacture a part, uh, the bottom surface of the part will have definitely manufacturing or machining variations. Whereas the Datum is theoretically exact point or plane. So there is an interconnection between datum and datum feature. So uh, if I say datum A, it always refers to, uh, it is interconnected to datum feature A. So without that it is highly impossible to get datum A. So it is a symbolic means of indicating datum feature. Uh, basically it consists of a letter which is placed inside the square box or the rectangular box and uh, they are going to attach a ladder to this. Let us see how exactly they are going to attach a ladder. Here you can observe here there is a ladder here. So this ladder points to this uh, datum feature. This indicates that this is the datum feature and then inside the box we have placed it A that is datum feature A. It indicates that this is datum feature A. Either the rectangle, uh, sorry, triangle can be filled or it can be cam uh, kept empty as per the requirement. See, in this, within the box, we can use any letter except I or Q. So, this is a standardization procedure. So, if it gets uh, exhaust, then a double series can be used, like A, A, B. Uh, it can be used at multiple uh, location, means it should refer to a single datum feature, it should not refer to different uh, datum features but it can be uh, placed in the different views but you need not have to mention it as a reference. You can observe here, so this is referring to datum feature. So actual part which is manufactured will always have variations, the machining variations. This is known as the datum feature whereas theoretically exact what is mentioned in the drawing that is known as datum plane A. And uh, how do we simulate this datum plane? Using the measuring instruments we are going to simulate this. So accuracy of that is better than the actual man manufactured item. So that's the reason we are going to simulate it using the measuring instrument. Here you can see two different things, one dashed line and the other one is continuous line. Dashed line indicates theoretically exact measuring instrument surface. Whereas the uh, dark line indicates that it is uh, physical datum feature simulator that is the measuring instruments also will have some variation so that is the reason it is physical datum feature simulator so let us go to the next example uh, here datum feature is applied to surface then it has to be applied to the outer nerve surface so we will see how exactly it is applied you can observe here if it has to be applied to a sur surface suppose I would like to apply the symbol to this datum feature then apply it to the outermost surface otherwise the extension line the dimension extension line is there no apply it to this dimension extension line this is one way the other way is uh, using the ladder also you can uh, uh, apply the datum feature symbol suppose if you want to apply it to the uh, surface which is not visible then use the dotted line so that is the concept so using dotted line you can point to the other face which is opposite to the visible face in orthographic projection. So if it is an axis, so the representation would be like this. The dimension which indicates the diameter, for that particular dimension the datum feature symbol would be attached. If uh, space is not available for the arrow, one arrow we can delete as per our requirement. Uh, either we can mention it like this or we can mention in this fashion also whatever we can see here so this particular refers to the axis so in case of holes this refers to the axis uh, in case of uh, uh, non cylindrical holes if it has a slot it refers to the center plane so in this case a uh, spherical kind of uh, structure this refers to a particular point the center point of the sphere sorry center point of the a spherical entity similarly you can attach it to the surface also as per the requirement uh, these are the different uh, ways of representing the datum feature symbols it can be attached to datum uh, feature control frame also so feature control frame definitely it consists of 
datum uh, reference frame also you can attach it to this uh, that indicates the datum feature symbol either you can apply at the top or bottom as per your requir requirement so here it is applied at the top it is at the bottom as per your convenience you can apply it if you don't want to apply uh, to the entire surface if you want to limit it then also you can do it it will definitely significantly reduce the inspection cost and then manufacturing cost see my area of interest is only 95 units so I am applying this as data so I am applying the data feature symbol, symbol only to this particular area so that's all for today thank you friends keep watching subscribe to my videos